Hi, I'm Rob from Stuff to Make You Smarter, and today I want to talk to you about your future, specifically genetic engineering. To a large extent, who you are is determined by your genetic makeup, your eye color, your hair color, everything about you, the way you behave. It's not just how you look, but also who you are, the type of personality that you have. A lot of this is determined by your genes. And you've heard this phrase, biology as destiny. Right? So, for all of human history, we have been constrained by what we're born with. In the future, you'll be able to take any number of gene protocols that alter your being in a substantial and material way. You can take a protocol that would cure you of disease, or fix a faulty gene, or regulate a gene. So a gene that may do one thing could be enhanced to do more of that thing. Now, where this gets really interesting is in the realm of taking man beyond man, be beyond doing mere repair. We're talking about enhancement. So the way that people today get all kinds of enhancements, we wear eyeglasses or we get Botox or breast augmentation, you'll be able to take that same idea and apply it in the future with genetic engineering. Let's say, for example, that you would like to be six inches taller. If you're not born that way, you don't like the way you look, in the future, you might be able to pay for a gene therapy that will actually make you taller or give you a different color hair permanently or fix something that's wrong with you medically. This is a, a very exciting and, a, and somewhat terrifying proposition because what it means is that the people who can afford the therapies are going to get them and those that can't, won't. And I think that what we're going to see without intense regulation by the government is some kind of splintering of society in 50 to 75 years. Very much a, uh, an H.G. Wells scenario from the time machine, the Morlocks and the Eloy. If you take this a little bit further, you can think about the hybridization of man and animal and where man moves beyond a mere human being that is enhanced because this is coming. Man and animal merge together to create something new. Think about this from the standpoint of enhancing who you are with animal abilities. Would you like to be able to breathe underwater? You might be able to do that in the future. Take a gene, you grow gills, and you can breathe underwater. Or how about a prehensile tail? Wouldn't you like to have a tail that you could use to pick up things and do other tasks and wrap around you, do any number of things, hang upside down on the playground, whatever. These things are not the realm of science fiction any longer. They're going to come into play at some point, probably in our lifetime. What you're likely to see is man moving beyond mere man into some other species. So think of it this way. I, as a man, have a gene therapy that gives me increased height, increased strength, a prehensile tail, and gills. All the things that I could possibly want to make me more than human. And then I have a mate. And that mate has also taken gene protocols that make her something more than human. And then we have a baby. Is that baby human? Or is it something more than human? Or do all those genetic alterations prevent pregnancy? Do we become sterile? And that is a question for society and for science both. Can it be done? Should it be done? So, our genetic future. Pretty cool, I'm very excited about it, and I can't wait to get my own prehensile tail. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And don't forget to check out our other podcasts, free, on iTunes.